What is up everybody, Ilya here and the topic of this video is Slidebean complete tutorial for beginners how to use Slidebean step by step. So here we are on slidebean.com and this software provides us the opportunity to create presentations online. We also have a lot of different templates we can easily use for free. Of course we have like paid version but in order to try this software we can easily start creating it for free. So here we are after a small registration will come to this page here where we can switch between different folders in the left side menu we have a dashboard from this page here we can easily find a lot of different templates we can also create our own from scratch on the presentational templates we can explore different templates divided into different groups like basic startups businesses marketing academic sales and so on so there are a lot of different templates divided into groups and for example for the startups we have like uh, a lot of templates which are only for paid version we, they are locked with this like icon here but we can easily use for example airbnb pitch deck template for free so it's pretty cool on my presentation we can discover all of our project we created so it will be easy for us to edit them a little bit later if it's necessary and on the investor tracker there is like options so we can add investor to start tracking your interactions uh, maybe it's like a CRM or something like this. So as you can see, we have such fields like name, label, status, source, date edit, next reminder, and so on. So basically, this software provides us the opportunity to create presentations, to pitch our ideas to investors, maybe to get some um, money or something like this. So let's try to create something new and let's go to presentation templates. And I'm in this video i'm going to use this one here so let's click on view and as you can see we have like some problems so we have some slides here and let's click on use this template to start working uh, the idea of this uh, stuff is to show all the features of how can we interact with the interface of editor and as you can see it's just quite simple in the left side we have um, all the slides on our presentation we have like 18 slides here so we can easily switch between them and moreover if you'll click on this uh, toggle like button we can change the order we can add a slide before add slide after we can also like drag and drop it in in the, the different position we can duplicate or we can delete so duplication is pretty cool if you are going to create two similar slides and we want to change only maybe photos or maybe some articles here but the structure should be the same and we can of course delete if it's unnecessary as for us to interact with this stuff here so in the top of the screen we can also find can find some shortcuts undo redo create new slide edit insert background options and animation we also have like a theme palette and a font uh, like back so it's pretty cool we can change the theme from this page here which is pretty easy we can just simply go right up here find something which is suitable as for us and we can change the palette so for example we can customize the wall a uh, template by simply switching the color palette which is suitable maybe as for uh, our like brand so let's try to use this flamingo palette basically we can also change the uh, font uh, pack so basically we can change the you know um, the font we are going to use so as for me it's unnecessary so I'm just going to uh, close this stuff here and in order to interact with our elements we can just simply click on them and all the properties of the necessary element will appear in the right side so for example for text uh, we have like uh, text style position and also we can change like size and do some other stuff if you're going to click on edit you can also find some stuff here if you need to add some elements for example text media chart shape we can just simply click on insert and for example we can add the line here if it's necessary for example to mention some stuff so as for me the navigation is quite simple and you can easily understand everything uh, what are you going to do here let's try to interact with the background so we can easily change the background to white make it like the you know 
uh, gradient or something like this or we can also select an image as it's necessary if it's necessary as for you so we can just simply click on it uh, we can use something from stocks uh, from animated area icon or we can upload our own image if it's like necessary from our computer and also we have like animation area where we can animate different things we which will appear like in a sequence in like in a order we will set up so as you can see we have like five steps here so let's click on preview to view how does it look like so let's full screen and now let's try to click so as you can see now we don't have like animation only we have like animation in this area which shows the process of uh, different uh, slice but we can e easily create um, animation right up here yeah so in order to interact with other elements for example here all we need to do is just to open the necessary slide then just click and then just change for example if you want to change the icon we can just simply click on it right up here change the necessary one and it will be successfully changed as we like uh, select it already so yeah like this and in this case um, the steps are quite simple after that we can just simply click change these uh, text for example we can easily generate it with chat gpt or do some other stuff um, to make it easier as for example we can also interact with images we can crop them we can do some other stuff uh, we can change the position and do all the things so uh, when everything is done we can just simply click on share and collaborate in the right top corner and now we can share our presentation with our team but basically as you can see uh, there are a lot of options which are unavailable without paid plan so we can get a full assess for 228 dollars per year so we can just simply select this plan and as you can see it has a lot of features instead of a basic plan which is my current plan so we'll have like share and export your presentations option track views and activity in your slides browse uh, 33 30,000 investor contacts investor tracker project revenue using our financial modeling templates assess exclusive community events from meetups to beat deck competitor competitions and like uh, 15,000 plus in discounts on startup deals so basically this is the way of how can we use slide bean as a beginner i hope guys this video helped you out please leave a like comment and subscribe if you have any questions you can write them in the comments below i hope this video made your life a little bit easier goodbye